Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Mix sugar, lemon juice and water in a cooking pot. Use medium heat to incorporate your ingredients and melt your sugar. Stir continuously and allow your sugar mixture to boil gently for about 10 to 15 minutes. When your sugar mixture turns to a caramel color and has a honey thick consistency, you are done heating it. Make your mark, take our lead. A few days before your appointment, lightly exfoliate the area to remove dead skin cells and prevent ingrown hairs. The day before your appointment, avoid exfoliation, tanning, or hot baths, as these might make your skin dry or sensitive. The day of your appointment, come with clean, dry skin. Take our lead. The bottom line. Both sugaring and waxing can be great forms of hair removal if you're looking for lasting results. There's no clear winner between the two because it's ultimately down to preference. Those with sensitive skin types might prefer sugaring because of its gentler nature and more natural formulation. Take our lead. Sugar paste is relatively easy to make at home, as it requires three everyday ingredients that are probably already in your pantry. In a saucepan, combine two cups of sugar with a quarter cup water and a quarter cup lemon juice. Bring the mixture to a boil, this will take about five to seven minutes. Take our lead. You can make sugar wax with three simple ingredients and do your own waxing at home. All you need is granulated white sugar, lemon juice, and water. Sugar wax is also less painful than traditional hot wax because it doesn't remove the hair follicle, making it a great option for those with sensitive skin. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Sugaring is a simple, inexpensive hair removal method you can do yourself at home. It's gentle on sensitive skin and the results last much longer than shaving, the hairs grow back slower and thinner. Sugaring is often confused with waxing with sugar-based wax, but it's completely different. Make your mark, take our lead. Apparently you can substitute the lemon juice with lime juice, orange juice or vinegar. The acid in these ingredients acts as a preservative and helps stop the sugar from turning into hard candy. But as I learned, overcooking the paste will still make it go rock hard when it cools down. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. If your sugar wax consistently comes out too hard, you're overcooking it. Add more lemon juice the exact amount depends on how hard the sugar mixes and continue boiling for another 1-2 to two minutes. If it's still not pliable enough, add more lemon juice and keep boiling. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.